Hi, it's Guy the Injector Guy. I'm coming to you with the MedRad Spectra Solaris. It's a quick tutorial on how to use this injector that some of you have been asking me for. So here we go. I'm trying to do a close up. That's why you kind of have the head face to you real close. And hopefully we can shoot this in one shot. So first of all, I'm going to tell you how to turn it on. Back behind here on the right hand side is a on switch. There's a little door you want to face down. Press the on switch and that turns the injector on. Now, it only takes about 15 seconds for it to warm up. You see it comes up, it tells you Spectra Solaris, it tells you actually the version that it is, and then it says warning, you know, safe to operate, check for error, all that kind of stuff, and you're gonna hit continue. And this takes you to the main screen. Now, hopefully down here you can see, you actually have a picture of a head with two arrows running in the opposite direction. That means that the injector is communicating with the monitor. So you wanna make sure that's lit, along with the battery power, then next to that is a small check mark. That's the one that you're going to do for check no air. And then you actually have a little plug in. When that's lit, that means your continuous battery charger is connected to the unit. Now, I don't have it connected for this one. We're just working off of pure battery power. But here we go. Let's start using this. So, the first thing I want to do is show you the screen. This is a preset study. You can actually go in and hit recall, and you can have different protocols already stored in here. So, I'm just going to hit perfusion for now. Hit OK. And you see that they even have. You know, more than just an A and B, they have A is coarse contrast, B is saline, and that's why we have it colored here. And then you have a hold, and then you then go back and start again at three. And so, so you can restart this injector for a perfusion. And if we want to just do a regular, um, there's a preset carotid. Boy, this, this person likes a lot of holds, but let's just go to this screen, which is routine. I actually like three mLs a second. This is for 20. And just go over here, hit three mLs a second again, hit enter. And now we have three for 20, three for 20, just to show you how to operate this, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get our syringes. Here at Stereatrics, we have the M302, which is the syringe kit that fits this. This takes a 65 on the A side and a 115 on the B side. So we peel our pack back and everything is right in the kit that you're going to need. One is the first thing you're gonna grab is your 115. You're just gonna push down a little bit and turn it and then you can barely see it here but there's actually indexing on the side so you can see what you actually have in the in the syringe. And again, we have our 65 milliliter syringe for the A side. And as we take it, we turn it to the uh, right clockwise. And again, another um, scale on there for you. So then the first thing we wanna do then is of course take off these dust caps. And we're just gonna throw that in the kit. Then in your kit comes a small spike and a large spike. Now, what we can do at this point, we can run our rams up. For this injector, you can operate the A side and B side at the same time. Of course, the A side is much smaller, so it runs up a lot faster. Um, but believe it or not, the speed of the motors are exactly the same. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to put our small spike on the A side. The vent cap I like facing me, I don't know why, but I just, feel better doing it that way. And what's nice is these do turn, the collars turn, don't necessarily have to turn the, the spike. But now we have our A spike, B spike, so our contrast. I like to fill up the contrast first. This is a contrast bottle. I know it's not a small MR bottle, but that's what I have to show you. We're gonna take, we're gonna find the bullseye, and we peel that back to expose the bullseye, and then we take that, put that on there, and then we would draw back, and then you can see the scale. So I know I need 20, which is right there. So I'm gonna go a little overfill, Pull a bottle off, and you can actually see over here on the screen, hopefully you can see that, that's 22.1. So, and then with the B side, you'll notice the spike is lots larger, larger. That's to get into those saline bags, if you use saline bags. And again, you will draw that back. Again, we have to press the enable, which is the green. If not, you get that ugly ink, ink, ink sound. Pull that back, draw what you need for that. And then we're gonna take our spikes off and discard them. And then we're going to put on our tubing. Now, when you look at the tubing, you'll notice it's a T tubing. So the short side is going to go to contrast. We don't waste any of that. Long side goes to saline. Take our dust cap off, put this on. And what's nice is you can turn the collar, get into position, then come over here and do the same with B side. So now we're going to do to get the expel the air, we're going to enable, press the enable button, that green enable button. And then it's going to allow us to run up. And we're just gonna run it to the contrast goes above the T area, all right? 
And then we're gonna take enable again. We're gonna take our saline and run that down and dribble it out. I don't have any contrast when they or any of their liquid in here, but it gives you an idea. We're gonna dribble this out. We have a dust cap, we can dribble through it. So not a problem. And then we're ready to hook up to the patient. So now let's say it's time to hook up to the patient. We hook up to the patient. We then turn our injector head down. That way, if there's any air, it goes up to the plunger side. And then what we're gonna do over here is again, we're gonna check our protocol that we wanted, which was three for 20 and three for 20. We're all set. Now, if you notice, I only have 20.1 in A and 29 here. If we were didn't have enough, and I'm gonna expel some out of contrast to show you, just to show you. Enable, shoot a little. Now I'm below the 20. Now what we're gonna do is when we go to arm it, all right, first we're gonna do is when we're in there, we wanna press the check air button that we checked for air. Now that little check is lit down here, so we're all set to arm it. So now if we go and we arm the injector, it's gonna say insufficient syringe volume because I only have 18.9 and I called for 20. Just go ahead and hit yes. It'll automatically lower that prop down to 18.9, nice and easy. And now, if you notice, we're all set arm. We have lights on on our head over here. Let me do that. Lights on over head. That's our enable, uh, you know, check for air light. And then you'll notice that our not, our actual button is blinking too. So we want to start it. Let's press it once. And now it's injecting. It's flowing, no problem. The little bit of sound you heard was actually the check valve being pushed with air. And then when we're all said and done, bingo, bango, injection complete. Now at this point, you just hit okay. And at this point, you can actually disconnect from the patient, of course. Then once you're done disconnecting the patient, go ahead and turn your syringe and remove. Now, a lot of you are gonna wanna come back and say, oh, I could save a step by just pushing this down and putting on the new syringe. Don't do that. This is made of plastic. It can't handle that type of pushing. It'll actually break the, 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 the case inside uh, if you do that. So again, always retract. You can run them at the same time. Press the enable button and then press the two buttons over here. And then you can retract. And this way you don't have to worry about anybody coming by and hitting these or anything like that. But now you're all set to hook up for the next time. So now we're all done with that. And there's some other things that I want to go over you with that you can see on this. Uh, we can set a delay if we wanted to. We can do a KV open if we wanted to. KV, um, which is, um, KVO is a continuous flow of the saline if you wanted to, to, to make sure you kept that vessel open. If you, you can set that um, when you're, you're setting up your injector. And then over here is our pressure. And we can also go in here and set that and change the pressure. If you feel more comfortable at 300, you can. Sometimes if you get an um, older person or a young person, you want to maybe set up for 200, you can do that too. So the injector will actually stop if it hits its pressure limit. So that's some of the things that you can do with this injector, but 325 is where they always have these sit. Um, well, I hope that helps out, answer some of your questions on how to operate this injector. Just please remember if you're looking to buy syringes, consider Stereatrix and it's our M302 brand. Thank you very much.